I'm gonna take these kicking tees for a kick now and just talk through the little subtle tees and differences and foot placement, how you're gonna strike the ball, depending on what kicking tee you go for in the RB Vortex kicking tee range. If you wanna try that drill, just think about holding a rugby ball, pushing it out. Hold a rugby ball, come into the ball, stay slow, trust my timing, push it out and kick it. Welcome to this Rugby Bricks RB Vortex kicking video. Now before we get into the kicking tees, I do want to talk about this wristband. So with every kicking tee that you purchase from Rugby Bricks, we send you out one of these RB Outwork Outlearn wristbands. Now they come in the same colour as the kicking tee, it's got the message of Outwork and Outlearn. That's our big mantra that we live by, we work by, so outworking people, outlearning people, putting detail into your kicking technique, everything that comes down to the game of rugby outwork and outlearn people. So you'll get one of these with your kicking tee purchase. Down here I've got the three RB Vortex kicking tees. We've got the low cut, the mid cut and the high cut and I'm going to go into detail on each. So where are these kicking tees made? All of them are made and designed in New Zealand. The guy at JTEC Plastic, Jason in Dunedin, one of my hometowns, helped me build these kicking tees. It was a really fun process. We put so much time and energy, especially into these Vortex range. The Vortex design actually gives the tee a little bit more strength and structure. And then we made the top of the, the Rugby Bricks kicking tee head so that it would sit the ball nicely, grip onto the ball, and really have that Vortex effect of really sucking onto the rugby ball. The thermoplastic material that we have used is the best. We tested a range of different qualities of tees and different types of products. We found that this one here really grabs onto the rubber of a rugby ball and really adds to that grip effect. Let's talk about the height of the tees. So the low cut 76 millimeters, the mid cut 92 millimeters and the RB Vortex high cut 112 millimeters. All of the tees have got the same design at the top so the Vortex and also the top of the Vortex head. It just allows you so that when you're placing this ball on the tee it doesn't matter what angle you want to sit the ball at, the tee grabs onto it even if you want a really upright ball or you really want to flatten things out, that tee is going to be nice and stable, the material is going to grab onto the rugby ball and really give you a nice stable base to, to kick from. And then finally just the base, we wanted to have a nice stable base, often on, on club fields where the grass is slightly longer, you want to have that tee that you can really mould into the grass and have a nice stable base. So it doesn't matter on what field you're playing on, you know that you can trust these kicking tees to do the job. One thing that I really enjoy about the RB Vortex tees is you can personalise how you place the ball. So for me, I like quite an upright ball on the mid-cut kicking tee, and I like to roll my seams in slightly, so just rolling those seams in slightly. And the kicking tee really allows me to do that every time. So however I wanna sit this ball, I can go to the back of my mark. If I see I need to change it, I can change it and the tee allows me to do that. I'm gonna take these kicking tees for a kick now and just talk through the little subtleties and differences and foot placement, how you're gonna strike the ball, depending on what kicking tee you go for in the RB Vortex kicking tee range. First tee I'm gonna kick with is the RB Vortex Low Cut. I love using this tee because for my style and technique, it means that I can get that extra sort of punch up the back of the ball. If you're someone who's, who's coming from a low tee or never kicked before, the low cut and the mid cut is a really good place to start because it sits that ball up nicely and it just means that it's probably the most natural position to kick the ball in. So I'm gonna set this ball up now and, and have a strike, but as you can see, the height is really going to allow me to have space and clearance to make a nice strike with the ball. And again, if you're coming from a slightly lower tee and you're wanting to get a little bit more uh, range on your kicks and a little bit more room to get your foot through and, and up the back of the ball, I think the low cut is a really good place to start. I use the term about getting your foot up the back of the ball quite a lot. So when you kick off a low kicking tee or you're kicking your soccer ball, generally your foot's quite low to the ground and on about that angle there. So it's still nice and strong and powerful. There's nothing wrong with this foot placement. But some kickers enjoy having their foot up the back of the ball slightly more. So instead of being in this position here, I really get up the back of the ball and making contact more like an out of hand kick when we're punting the ball. So as you can see there, you can see the studs on my boot. It just means that I'm getting up the back of the ball slightly more. If this style and tee suits you, it's a really good way to go about goal kicking. So this here is the RB Vortex low cut kicking tee. This tee really suits my style, both the mid cut and the low cut. Um, really allows me just to get a nice strike, nice straight ball flight, stay slow, trust my timing.
Onto the RB Vortex mid-cut now. Now this here is our most popular kicking tee that we do sell. I think it's because of just the height of the kicking tee, it's the most natural spot to kick a rugby ball from, and just how the ball sits on the tee, people really enjoy sitting it on the RB Vortex mid-cut. Let's have a kick. One drill that I quite often get kickers to do is think about having a rugby ball in their hands. So they're, they're back here, they've got a rugby ball in their hands. As they come in, pushing that rugby ball out and then thinking about making impact. I think that's why the mid cut and the high cut are so popular because it's so close to kicking out of hand and why people can get those nice big strikes through the rugby ball. So if you want to try that drill, just think about holding a rugby ball, pushing it out. Hold a rugby ball, come into the ball, stay slow, trust my timing, push it out and kick it. Now we're on to the tallest of the kicking tee range, the RB Vortex High Cut Kicking Tee. We have seen kickers kick the ball over from 60 plus using this kicking tee. It gives you so much room and just like my point before about kicking out of hand and having all that space being big and tall, I think this tee really allows you to do that. And I've had some really good success with younger kickers, with female kickers who are struggling for distance. We put them on a high cut and they've got all that room to get through the ball, heaps of power and enjoy that extra distance. So there's no reason as if you use a high kicking tee why you still can't have a really tight and tidy technique. We're always looking for 100% power, but also 100% technique every time you're kicking the ball. Let's have a kick. It was coached for a long time that you had to have your plant foot in the midline of the rugby ball. Now that's not true. The thing I coach is think about your strongest lockout point. Quite often with kickers that use high kicking tees, actually leave their foot slightly behind because their foot and their hips is in this big strong position with their plant foot slightly behind the ball rather than in the midline. So just think about where are you strongest kicking the ball. It may be in that midline of the rugby ball, but quite often with a lot of kickers nowadays, we actually enjoy being slightly back from the ball because we get all that power. Again, our foot's up the back of the ball. We're nice, strong and locked up and we can enjoy that extra punch and the energy and hip power behind the ball. So again, we've got the high cut out. Every time I use the high cut, the ball absolutely flies off my foot. So let's see how we go here. Stay slow, trust my timing. Stay big and tall on this kick and we should see the ball sail. <laughs> big strike again, heaps of hang time. Thanks for watching team, that there is the RB Vortex range, the low cut, the mid cut and the high cut. I'm so proud of these kicking tees, the work, the effort the team put into making these and getting them around the world to over 55 countries now. Click the link below, you'll take you straight to the website where you can purchase these kicking tees and be kicking before you know it. Lastly, remember you do get one of these wristbands with that outwork, outlearn message. It's the thing that I always try to get into kickers. You've got to outwork people, you've got to outlearn people. Uh, I really look forward to seeing you using one of these kicking tees.